friend's house. I call it the Ozone. I, I call, call it the Orena. Orena. So up there. we're gonna. <laughs> that's fine, that's man. In the air, you live up in the clouds, man. You're one of those gods. You know what I'm talking about? Shh, lightning. Yeah, bolt. lightning bolts and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, we're uh, we're gonna be doing three videos here. Of this is the first of playthroughs for our Jack Vassal Memorial Fund winners. We have been doing battling brushes for three game for three games, uh, Guild Ball. Correct. Um, Wrath, Wrath of, King. of Kings from Cool Mini or Not. Uh, Guild Balls from Steamforge Games, and then we're also going to do Blood Bowl. This guy's like favorite, one of his favorite games. One of my favorite games from all the time. Games Workshop. So this video is going to be a playthrough of Guild Ball from Steamforge Games. So we're going to break down on the table, show you how it plays. Now, a couple caveats: we are not masters at this game. No, but you're going to be able to see out of these three videos: is Guild Ball better than Blood Bowl? Eh, we'll see. We'll see. we'll see. You'll have to make that determination on your own. But generally speaking, we're not masters. We might make some mistakes. We, it's not like we play this game a lot. Uh, so we're basically just fumbling through, giving you heart, trying to give you a basic idea of how the game plays. So let's get down to the table. Sam, take it away, my friend. Alrighty. So we are here at what did you call it earlier? The ozone. The arena. Oh, ozone. the arena. What's the ozone? ozone. It's, his, it's your house, bro. My ozone. All right, so anyway, we are at the ozone, and that means that there are going to be some differences. Rob, why don't you explain those differences? First of all, you may hear a dog. You may hear kids. You may hear TV. You may hear reality TV. That's just the way it rolls here. <laughs> this isn't Dice Tower Studios. We're trying to get done these uh, three battling brushes that we had done for the Jack Vassal Memorial Auction. And we finally, believe it or not, actually have had time to get all three of them done yeah. here uh, right after the Mighty Dice Tower Con 2017. Cool. So we're pretty excited. We've had a great time, but the gameplay didn't stop. We just kept on going. We That's brought true. it all the way to my house. Brought it back. So we are playing Guild Ball, the first of three. So... All right, so uh, we've already kind of determined who is going to be kicking off, who is going to be receiving... Uh, uh, Rob Tom. won the, I was thinking, the, uh, <laughs> the roll-off, but t <laughs> Rob has won the roll-off, so he elected to receive the ball. So uh, Brisket here is going to be the person kicking off. She's going to uh, kick off in a, uh, let's see, she has a kick of six inches. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get that kick. Well, first of all, she she gets a free jog because she's kicking off. That's true. Yes. So uh, that's just going to be a, a regular old five inches here. So we're going to do that. And that moves her to here. The ball comes with her. And then she gets a six-inch kick, which will be like Ooh. so. We're going to put it in that direction right over there. Mm -hmm. Now after that we need to do a scatter to uh, make sure that no it's the other it's the other one. Oh, it's the other. <laughs> yeah. Man. No worries. Oh that's why it so fits. We're gonna, yeah that's why it whoa, fits. Whoa, whoa, we're gonna do whoa. that. Where are you throwing that ball bro? And we're going to roll to see how far that's a six. Mm -hmm. So it scatters in this direction. And how far does it scatter? Another six. six inches. Okay, so six inches, like so, boom, like that. All right. All right, so. And that is that. Now that the ball has been kicked off, we're gonna start our maintenance phase. Now, there are no conditions or anything that we have to worry about at the back, right. but we do have to generate uh, influence. influence. So, I, generate up to seven influence and I am going to attribute that in such a manner. And my team of three players is going to initiate uh, five influence so we're going to give uh, boar one shank two and brisket two as well. Brisket he sounds like a sandwich. She sounds like a sandwich. Oh, excuse me. Get it right, boy. Whoa, easy. All right, so for my first 
move, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to uh, let me see the ruler if you don't mind, you because are. I do get to pre pre measure to make sure I'm within range of stuff. So I am going to jog to the ball. Like so. That does not cost me any influence to do <coughs> such. Okay. All right. So, in doing so... Oh, thank you. You're welcome. In doing so, now I have to roll to see if I, I pick up the ball. Okay. Okay? So that is... No, actually the ball just attaches snaps to, to snaps to me. As long as you're within one inch. As long as I'm within one inch. So, that is my go. All right, and so now it is my turn to... Um, Activate some one. So let's see here. We're going to do a. Well, actually, you know something? I forgot that I can perform a kick, can I? Yeah. Okay. So I had. Because I didn't use any of that influence, I was wondering why I had so much. Now, my kick is eight inches, uh, which will be just enough to get it within one inch of him. Okay. So I'm going to try to do that. I roll four dice. I have to get a four or better mm -hmm. on four dice. Got it. And I barely do that. So <laughs> you overwhelmingly did that. Overwhelmingly do that. Now that cost me one, one influence. One influence. So now, because the ball is within one inch of my friend here, Grayscales. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> it snaps right to him. Okay. Now it's your go. I right. apologize for my mistake. No worries. Since this is the first time we are playing this. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and sprint uh, with Shank. And Shank has a sprint of eight inches. So it'll be really simple. We just move him right up here like this. And that costs one influence point. There That's you all go. for me. Well, seeing that that punk is getting in my wheelbarrow, I am going to spend one influence and perform a sprint. And that's going to cost one. And my good friend, the Kraken, is coming to Kraken. Yeah, okay. He's going to crack his own skull is what he's going to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a friendly game, pal. <laughs> All right, Boar is also going to sprint. <clears throat> and that'll be a good six inches as well. So we'll go right up like that. That costs him an influence as well. So you're up. All right. It's plus two deep. Oh, okay. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to spend one influence to move uh, a sprint. But I'm going to spend another influence to put on decoy. And decoy gives this model plus two defense. Okay. Okay. So by doing that, I'm going to move seven right this way here. And taking the ball with me, I'm going to go right here. And of course, have my newly acquired defensive move right there. All righty. <clears throat> hmm, okay, let's see here. And as okay. he thinks and ponders, you have to understand that we have gone through four days of complete painting. <laughs> Painting mayhem. Painting mayhem. And if you all went to the Dice Tower Con, I hope you had a great time. We really enjoyed meeting you and teaching you how to paint as beautifully as we do right here. <laughs> oh, whatever, dude. Yeah, we do the best we can. <laughs> We're hacks. Yes. <laughs> all right. So... Um, we're going to go ahead and make uh, just a sprint move for Brisket as well. She moves eight, and so she'll go like so. Mm -hmm. Takes one of her influence, and you're up. So when something happens, we're going to key back on here, because we are doing this as a taped and not a live event. So, so when something exciting happens... We'll get back to you. We'll get back to you. And we'll, <laughs> we'll pop it on and we'll explain what happened and how it happened here 
at the old arena. So things are not going pretty for me. My shark, that's what his name is, has already taken four damage because he ran up the field and just decided to get sandwiched by these two guys. Five, five damage, actually. That's what I said, five damage. You said four. Five damage. <laughs> 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 this big idiot just roamed out and, and is pointing at something. I don't know, maybe he sees somebody in the stand. I want a hot dog. <laughs> She has no idea where she's going. No, she just cut him off from coming around this side of the field. I had no idea what you're talking about. And he is just, I don't know, he's doing the he two-step. Yeah, he's doing the two-step. He's line dancing over there. So we're going to move into our next turn. So let's see what happens here. First thing, quick foot goes away for as ability. So does my torn hamstring. Uh, any unused um, influence disappears. All effects are removed, and now we generate influence again. Actually, we roll for initiative. Now, during that, because you were able to hit me twice, you have two momentum points. That's correct. So I get plus two to my die roll? Yes, you do. And of course. You have a four, but I have a two, and that's good enough for you. So that means that I'm going to generate five influence again. Okay, and I am going to generate... A lot of pain. So we're going to make sure that he has two. We're going to give him his maximum of four and six, and we're going to give him one. So there you go. Do I have to give him influence? Um, because he doesn't have any special abilities that I mean, yeah, which means he can't attack, which no big, no big deal to me. He can't attack without influence. He cannot attack without influence. It costs an influence to attack. Okay. It costs an influence. You can jog, but that's about it. Oh, he decided to give an act. Give one of those. Fine, fine, fine. It is your go, my so friend. So I have initiative here. Mm -hmm. So Boar is just going to uh, wail on Shark again. Okay. And Boar has a tack, which means how many dice I roll of eight. Eight. And so I roll my eight dice, and I'm going to... Uh, now, her defense is... You forgot to subtract one that last time you heard her. One die. No, I did. I, the last time I heard her, it was with him. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I did that. Okay. So it's her, uh, him, her whatever. defense. Her defense is four plus. Four plus. So I got to roll four pluses here, which I get three. No, four. Subtract one. Four. Subtract one for her armor. All right. All right. So she... Oh, he got three hits. Yep. <clears throat> so Wrong we game. look on his yeah right. We look on his columns here, and that means I can either I can do one of these things. So I can do one damage, two damage. I can uh, knock her back, I can knock her down, or I can get one guild ball point, which I can use on one of my abilities down here. So I am going to do that. Instead of causing damage, I'm going to hamstring her again, which okay. is going to make her suffer a negative four. Um, movement on both sides of her movement, both uh, jogging and sprinting. Ooh. <clears throat> All right. That wasn't very nice. That's that's you. Okay, so melee zone. I'm within two inches. So to attack, it would cost me one. Mm -hmm. It cost him one yeah, as did. well. And so I attack with six dice. And I have to get two or better on your big boy there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, two or better. I'd say that's five hits. Five hits. My armor is One, zero. Two, three, four, five. So what I'm going to do is... On a knockdown, he just goes right down. If you knock me down, it, I don't... It just means that I cannot engage, I can't use plays, and uh, I cannot... Uh, be moved other than push and dodge, and oh. I also suffer minus one defense. So it doesn't really do me any damage. Oh, okay. So then, like then take three damage. Okay, will do. 
All right, so one, two, and three. We're just locked in Mortal Kombat. There. Yes, we are. All right, All right, is it my turn now? Yes, it is. Right, get your dice out of the way. Get your filthy blue dice out of the way. I kind of like them being right there. <laughs> All right, so we're going to uh, go ahead and Brisket is going to sprint. Uh, let's see. She's going to sprint eight inches here. So she's going to go like so. All right, and that cost her a influence. All right. Now, what's going to happen is the Kraken, after we just cracked those models know, that right? we have to yeah. send away, is going to charge for two. Yep, yep. And come back and say, wait a minute. I just remember the hot dogs over there. You wouldn't hit a lady. Oh, yes, I would. And Healy rolls you, five you dice. You heard it here first. Mm, he would. Rob Oren would hit a lady. Now, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's her? Oh, uh, well, um, her, she, it's a four plus and she has one armor. All right. Oh, and that's a bunch of whiffing right there, baby. Yeah, that's a whole bunch of So whiffing, you got a so. one hit. Yep. But that one will do one damage. Tis but a scratch. And it is your go. All right. So we're going to have Shank here make an attack, and he is within the melee zone of Shark, so we're not going to charge or anything like that. We actually can't charge. So we're just going to make an attack here. We get six dice, so that's four, uh, two, making six. Fours and are better. Fours or better. All right, so that's one, two, three, four. Minus four hits, minus one, which is three. Mm-hmm. All right, that's so. That's just gonna die horribly. Uh, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and do a two more points of damage. Okay. And then we're also going to make a dodge away. For two inches? Yeah. For two more inches. Okay. So we're going to do this. So you also gain a momentum for that as well. Yes. That was one influence. All right. And because you went first, my guy will be the final guy to go. And we're going to come. We just don't care. Right in there. Right into there. All right. And that's that. That is the end of the round. All right. So now we take our two momentum tokens, yeah? Mm-hmm. And we're going to determine the one. initiative. So I get two, you get plus two. I get plus two, you get plus one. So it's basically plus one. Six. Four. And a whopping one, two. two. Well done, sir. Boy, I'm stinking today. All right, so now that happens. Mm -hmm. Blue hamstring comes off. And I'm going to generate all other influence comes off as well. I'm going to generate five influence. Which... I'm going to give just kind of going the same here. Hmm. There you go. Here go. Alrighty then. I think I'm going to uh, charge with Shank here. <clears throat> Not a charge, but uh, we're just going to sprint with Shank. Well, it's basically the same thing, but I don't have to use both of his influence to do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go eight, which will put me well within. So we'll go over this way. Okay. And we're going to attack. Attack. You know what? Why wouldn't I have charged there? Because I I charge my max speed. Yep. I get a free attack. Mm-hmm. So why wouldn't I do that? 
So I'm going to do that, plus I get the extra four dice. So we get six, nine, we've got ten dice. So we're going to... Uh, Once per turn, when an enemy model en ends in advance in this model's melee zone, this model may immediately take a two-inch dodge. All right, so All we're right, going to so, roll here. Yeah, so thankfully, Shank has a two-inch melee zone, which means that even though... Uh, gray scales over here did hop away. He's still within the length of my chained hatchets over here. So I still do get my attack of uh, six dice mm -hmm. plus four for uh, charging. There you go. All right. So we've got ten dice going here. Mm hmm. Fours are better. Fours are better. Got a lot of those. Yeah, they all hit because he has no defense. He has no defense. All right. And so no that, armor. And oh, no armor. Yeah. So that's seven hits. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I need yeah. to do a wrap around so I can choose to do that one mm -hmm. plus something else. Mm -hmm. So. I think what we're going to do is uh, mm. all right so we're going to do a thousand cuts first which means that you suffer a negative two bonus Jeez, defensive bonus actually you know what uh, yes yeah it's a okay. negative two defensive bonus um, and then you also get one damage from that. Okay. Um, that's this one. And then you're also going to take another damage. And he'll be able to perform a dodge. Two of one inch. So we'll come back like so. And that's him. So you took two damage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you have that thousand cuts on you. You're up. I'm going to kick the ball to him. Okay. And by doing that, there's a negative, isn't there? Kicking, passing the ball to a person that's engaged. Yep. Okay. okay. If the kicker is engaged, it's minus one per engaged enemy. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm within my zone anymore, so I don't think you're engaged with nope. me. Intervening enemy target engaged is plus one to the target number. Okay. So you're gonna your target number is I believe four plus because of the mm -hmm. passing it, so it's gonna be a five plus. Okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. I think now he is going to sprint away. All right, so you're trying to leave mm -hmm. um, and engaged. You're engaged with me, so you're trying right. to leave. We get a parting blow, and so I'm going to go ahead and use my influence to do that, mm -hmm. which is going to give me uh, my base dice pool plus two. So it's my attack plus two, which means I'm going to get ten dice. Mm -hmm. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten. And I can only cause damage... Uh, a knockdown or, or attack. attack. Those are the only things I can do. I can't do any of my character plays. I guess we'll see. All right. So, what is your plus four? Plus four. Four four. Miss. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Minus one for your armor. Yeah. All right. So Boar has one, two, three, four. I don't have a tackle, but I do have a knockdown. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use that. And the knockdown means you lose possession of the ball, so it's going to be a standard scatter. Okay. Uh, where's that scatter? There it is. And let's just say it goes this way. Okay. Does seem legitimate. Yeah. Then we roll a die. Go ahead and why don't you roll it? See where it goes to. to this direction. How far? Sure. Two inches. All right. So two inches in this direction. Right there. Well, no, from here. Yep. Two inches from here. Okay. 
right. Up there? Yep. Okay. All right. And now you break away. All right. But what can I do? We're, we're knocked down. I can't. Oh, that's true. Um, knocked down. You cannot engage. Cannot use plays. And uh, you can only be pushed or you can only dodge or push. And you have minus one defense. All right. So I, I'm already. So you lose possession. You cannot engage. You cannot be moved other than to push or dodge. So you actually can't move. All right. So that's that. Okay. So we are trying to score a goal here and put an end to this. And by doing that, I'm going, I've won initiative. So by winning initiative, all I have to do Oh, is, I got to assign my stuff here. Oh, sorry. I got too hyped up. I was yeah. so excited to score, to possibly <laughs> score something. All right, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to charge, use an influence to charge seven. So, well, not charge, but sprint seven. By going by here, I automatically mm -hmm. connect the ball. I'm going to come up to here. Okay. Okay. So you pick up the ball automatically when you run by. Well, it? hopefully. It's no. It's, it's three dice. Okay. So I rolled a plus four to get the ball. Four plus. Yeah. Okay. I am now going to shoot. Is this the goalpost? Yep. Yeah. Oh. Alrighty then. Give it a whirl. And hopefully we can score, and we do, with a six. So you have to roll a six plus Yep. to score a goal. So the ball, boink, boink. and that. Goal! Goal! <laughs> All right, so that it was Guild Ball. What'd you think? I mean, this is not going to be a full review, of course, because we just basically stumbled through the quick start rules. What do you think? It wasn't for me. Okay. Quite Why? Simple. Why wasn't it for you? What What turns you off, basically? I don't know. I, you know, after playing Blood Bowl for, for as long as I have, mm -hmm. I was looking for something a little more deeper where, you know, where you would take a team and build it. It's yeah. just the same thing kind of over and over again. Mm -hmm. And it is a little fiddly. Okay. Yeah, that was one of my things. Uh, the book, the rule book comes. It's one of those hardcover rule books. It's not that thick, but uh, I don't know. I just, we had a lot of time that we spent off camera. We stopped the camera and we had to, you know, jump around to a bunch of different things to try to iron everything out. And that just took up a lot of time, and it was very grueling as far as that's concerned. Yeah. I guess had we had somebody that was a master of the game and, and just knew everything in and out, easier. it would have went a lot smoother and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not completely downing it. The miniatures, although they're metal, I don't like metal miniatures no, that hardly was hard. at all. We um, had a real, but but they come out with that that uh, new kickoff box. That's correct. With all plastic yes. and different colors, so you don't even have to paint it. Correct. And you know it has a soccer feel to it. So if you are a big soccer fan or football fan uh, uh, in the European markets, um, th this just might be a game for you. Yeah, I mean we're not downing it. Um, just a couple of things that we didn't like about it so much, but at. If you have the chance, give it a shot. They do have a good product there. I just don't think we're the market for that specific product. Mm -hmm. uh, so that is Guild Ball from Steamforge Games. Go give it a check out. As always, I always say try before you buy, people. Uh, don't ever take one person's word on it. you got to give it a whirl before you Don't take you it by our playthrough, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we just want to give you a basic idea. So that's it from us. We'll see you guys on the flip side. See you next time. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.